something popular now that annoys me. You know what? As a social media professional, I probably shouldn't say this, but the culture of TikTok kind of bugs me. I don't know if you've been around tweens lately, but like they communicate in TikTok memes. They just like make sounds at each other and they know what each other are, are saying and what they're referencing with these sounds. And I, over my head, gone. I have no idea what they're talking about. It's very annoying. Hi, I'm Lacey J. I'm an entrepreneur who started a social media agency at age 22. Weird, I know. I've been niching it down and building it up over the last 11 years and a long 11 years they have been. Being on social media so much is hard on my and my team's mental health, so we work to find routines, balance, and focus on ethics that keep us showing up authentically online. If you manage social media accounts and you feel confused, unfocused, or straight up wackadoo, welcome to the club. We meet here once a week. Hello, everyone. I am so happy to have you here. Welcome. It is August, if you are watching these or listening to these sequentially, which means it is time to look forward to September. So today's episode, we are focused entirely on September content planning. I will say, I've been getting some screenshots from some of you recently showing me your content planned out ahead of time. Um, I got one from Natalie Murphy, who was on the podcast a couple of uh, weeks ago, showing that her August content was already scheduled a few weeks ago. So proud. That is really the point of these episodes, is getting you in the mindset of starting to uh, craft your content ahead of time so that your life is a little bit easier, okay? So let's look forward into September. Uh, what's going on in September that you need to think about for your social media plan? We'll start with holidays. Uh, for September, there are a few monthly observances that I wanted to bring up. One, uh, Hispanic Heritage Month is September 15th to October 15th. So that's something to think about if um, that fits with your values or with the community that you serve. Um, another month that's kind of interesting is uh, September is National Courtesy Month. Uh, what a great opportunity to spread kindness and um, values that maybe your business aligns with. So if you have courtesy, customer service, kindness, caring, if any of those values are part of your core values as an organization, maybe you choose September to focus on National Courtesy Month. You do a post a week highlighting ways that you can be courteous to others. Um, or ways that your employees are courte courteous to each other or to your customers, et cetera. So that's kind of an interesting one to try. Um, it's National Mortgage Professional Month, so I guess thank your lender. <laughs> um, there are two more that I want to focus on for September. One is National Self-Care Awareness Month. So September is National Self-Care Awareness Month. I love that we have to be aware of the fact that we must care for ourselves in today's society and culture. We're gonna leave that on the sidebar and just talk about what you might do with that as your social media content. So maybe you're gonna do a post a week about self-care ideas. Maybe you're going to highlight your employees and the ways that they practice self-care. Maybe you're gonna give your employees a couple extra days off that month so that they can practice self-care in a way that uh, doesn't uh, impact their work negatively. Um, that's a fun idea. Um, the last one for September is that it's National Suicide Awareness Month. Um, there is that new phone number that came out uh, this last month that's a national suicide hotline. Maybe you choose to highlight that so that your community understands and is aware that it's something that's available to them, a resource that's uh, available to them. Okay. Let's move into national days now throughout September. I feel like I have the most national days that I'm highlighting in September from any of the other months that we've done throughout the year so far, but hang with me, we'll get through them quickly. September 2nd is National Food Bank Day, okay? Most food banks have some sort of social presence, so perhaps you're gonna choose to highlight, uh, share some content, create a post and tag the food bank in your area so that people who um, maybe don't know that exists or have never been able to find a volunteer opportunity at the food bank can be made aware that, um, that yours exists, here's where it is, here's what some of their needs are. So that's an idea for National Food Bank Day. 
September 3rd is National Tailgating Day, okay? September is a big football month, okay? If any of your uh, customer base or the people that you serve in your organization are football people, maybe you do something fun for National Tailgating Day. Maybe you give away a cooler. Maybe you give away... Um, I don't know, like what, a gift card to a meat market or something? What do you do? I've, I'm not a big tailgater, so I don't know what you do, but I, I imagine there's snacks there. So you could, you could give away some snacks. It would be a great time. September 3rd is World Beard Day. Okay, and maybe, maybe I get to celebrate World Beard Day. I've got a few down here. I'm kind of proud of them. Sometimes I like stroke them as I'm thinking and it makes me feel wise. Maybe you do that too. I don't know. Uh, I do think it's interesting that that World Beard Day is in September when like No Shave November happens the next month. That's kind of interesting. So I don't know. Maybe you use World Beard Day to talk about the No Shave November campaign that you're going to do the next month and introduce the concept. We'll see. Okay, September 5th is Labor Day, so maybe you're going to choose to do a post about Labor Day. Maybe you're not. You can kind of decide if that's in line with your company values overall. I told you there's a lot. I got to take a drink break here. Okay. September 5th is National Read a Book Day. That's kind of fun. Why not take September 5th as an opportunity to share some books that align with your company or your organization's core values? Why not choose that day to allow employees to talk about what some of their favorite books are, the most life-changing books that they've listened to uh, or watched? or read. <laughs> you don't really watch books, but whatever. You get the idea. Um, the next one is September 8th, and that's National School Picture Day. So first of all, any of you parents out there, reminder, picture day is coming up. You got to fill out that form. You got to send it with your kid. Good luck. Um, now, a fun content idea for September 8th, National School Picture Day. Wouldn't it be fun to like gather some of your employees' old school pictures and uh, post those as a post, like a gallery post or an album post where you've got many um, old school school pictures of your employees? People would love that content. That would be so fun to see. The next one is September 11th. So September 11th, um, last year was the 10 year anniversary. I don't know if you call it an anniversary of something tragic that happens, but it was uh, the 10 year anniversary of September 11th, 2011. And so I wouldn't say that it's a good idea for most people to be creating content around what happened on September 11th. However, you do need to be aware that on that day there are many brands and organizations that are probably going to be posting about that. And so, you know, you might choose to skip that day if you're not going to be talking about it and, and post what you were going to post on that day on another day um, to keep your content top of mind and not um, get it in the middle of a conversation that maybe you don't belong in. September 12th is National Day of Encouragement. Again, I love to pick out the days that spark positivity and joy. Uh, that's because we're focused on social media for good. So it's just so easy on social media to have so many negative conversations and for things to, to turn out controversial and, and difficult to handle. Why not choose to highlight the things that maybe spark joy and cooperation? So National Day of Encouragement could be great. You know, maybe you put up uh, an encouraging message and you ask people to put random thoughts of encouragement in the comments. Great way to spark engagement and to keep the tone of the conversations that are happening within your communities up here and positive. September 16th is National Guacamole Day. Now. Don't you think maybe Chipotle, if you're listening, free guac on that day? Like, I will support the heck out of you if you offer free guac. Local taco restaurants, local Mexican restaurants, free guac on National Guacamole Day. I will hype the crap out of you, okay? I met one of my best friends asking to share guacamole uh, before, so it holds a special place in my heart. Um... September 17th is National Dance Day. This is usually a pretty big day on social media. There's a lot of content that goes out on National Dance Day. Um, it'll be interesting to see what happens on TikTok on National Dance Day since TikTok is so centered around 
um, body movement and, and dance type of things anyway. It'll be fun to see if maybe there's some specific dance trends that happen for that day. Um, I'll be watching out for it. Okay, we're almost through the national days for September. The next one is September 19th. September 19th is National Talk Like a Pirate Day. Are you going to do that one or not? I, I, I don't know if I'm going to. Maybe I could do a joke. Um, I have this Laffy Taffy joke um, that's how much does it cost for a pirate to get his ears pierced? A buccaneer. So maybe we do a pirate joke on uh, September 19th. September 20th is National Voter Registration Day. We're going to talk about this overall concept a little bit more later in the episode, but um, it's voting season, okay? So things on social media are getting a little cuckoo bananas around that time, but uh, if you want to be a brand that's not taking um, a side in any sort of political conversation, you can still talk about the importance of voting. That's one of the safest things that you can do to just keep people engaged in um in politics in a way that isn't divisive is just promoting voting. So National Voting Registration Day is uh, September 20th. Maybe you highlight that and put links to any other resources that people might need to get that done properly. September 22nd is Fall Equinox. Um, so beginning of fall, end of summer. I always hate saying goodbye to summer, but fall is quite beautiful too and pumpkin spice season is great. I, I love good uh, pumpkin cream cheese muffin with my coffee. Ugh. Oh my God. Can't take it. Speaking of coffee, September 29th is National Coffee Day. So if you are a coffee shop and you're running the social media, it's going to be a big day for you. It'll be fun. Uh, prep for it. Okay. Do a little prep work. Um, start putting out a specific hashtag that you want people to use. Um, start, maybe you give a National Coffee Day deal if you're a coffee shop that you promote through your social media. Um, if you are not a coffee shop, uh, maybe you highlight local coffee shops that you love. Maybe you find out the uh, favorite drinks from your employees and you talk about them on September 29th, National Coffee Day. The last day that I want to talk about in September is September 30th. September 30th is Orange Shirt Day, okay? Orange Shirt Day promotes awareness about the Indian residential school system still impacting Native American communities in the United States and Canada. It's also known as National Day for Truth and Reconciliation, and the day honors the children forced into Indian boarding schools. In addition, the day also remembers those who never returned home. If this is the first time that you're ever hearing about this, it would be a great idea for you to dive in and get a little bit more education about this. I would recommend channels like Illuminative on Instagram, um, women-led, native women-led, organization that provides immense education on um, issues affecting indigenous people. So um, learn a little bit more about that. When I have spent over the last couple of years um, learning and diving into that type of content, uh, it has changed my life and my worldview in a way that I am very grateful for. So hope that maybe you can get some of that education too. Okay, let's move into themes for the month, okay? So in September, what's going on in the world? Let's talk about it. Um, first of all, the midterm elections are coming, okay? So it's, it's September, uh, elections happen early November, which means that this is heavy political ad time, okay? You're gonna start going on social media and there's gonna be more and more and more and more political content. What that means is there is going to be more and more and more and more contention among uh, social media users. Um, so this can be a really, really, really tough time for social media managers. So the first thing I want to say is um, gird your loins, <laughs> you know, just like get yourself mentally prepared for the fact that when you enter a social media platform uh, during a few months here, you're going to need to put a guard up. Uh, and be prepared for the kind of contention that you're going to have to manage. Some of that contention comes from real people having real arguments. Other parts of that contention comes from literal bots that are programmed to cause contention. They might um, automatically be commenting a, 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 a contentious GIF. They might automatically be commenting a contentious statement. Um, it's a really tough time for social media managers. So gird your loins protect your mental health, set some really good boundaries around your social media use during this time or else it's going to be super, super hard for you to 
uh, come up with anything creative during this time because you're going to be spending all your time just angry at uh, the contention that you're having to witness every day. Uh, I didn't know where to put this one because I found this in the uh, sports, like what's going on sports-wise in September. But this isn't really a sport, it's more of a theme. September 8th to the 11th is New York Fashion Week. So I don't know, maybe if your community has some sort of fashion bend, you focus on that. Maybe you bend it in a different way, like it's New York Fashion Week and you're going to do a dog fashion show for that week, you know? Um, maybe it's New York Fashion Week and you're going to have your employees walk a fake runway and have a, um, a fun little post or campaign around that. So that's kind of interesting to think about. Also, another theme to focus on in September is, again, it's the end of summer, beginning of fall. So anytime that there's these big transitions happening in the weather, those are things that everybody is experiencing all at the same time. So starting to talk about the leaves maybe starting to change, starting to talk about the temperature changing. Um, these are things that can make your content more relatable overall. And maybe you can build campaigns around them if you're mindful about uh, when these transitions are coming up. Okay, the last theme to be thinking about is school is in session in September. So right at the end of August, beginning of September is when um, youth end up going back to school, which changes the routines and patterns of families uh, who have children um, across the country. So with school in session, maybe you choose a campaign, like a back to school campaign, um, maybe you're just mindful of how people's schedules are changing and you are adjusting the timing of when you're posting stuff or the, um, the content in a way that, that just speaks to the fact that school's starting. Let's move into sports for September. September is a big sports month, okay? September 8th, the NFL season starts. So August, this month is all preseason games for NFL, but first week of September, September 8th, um, is the start of the NFL season. So think about that if you want to include some of that content in your content plan um, or even just in the way that you comment back to people when you're engaging with your community. Um, good to know. August 27th, so the end of August slash beginning of September is opening for college football as well. So all of the NCAA teams start playing the last couple days of August, the beginning of September. So that's, that's fun. There's a lot of things that you can do with college football season. Keep it in mind. Maybe you want to do some content about it. Um, maybe you don't. We'll see. Um, the U.S. Open is at the end of August, early September as well. And the last thing in September around sports is World Rowing Championships. That's September 18th to the 25th. <laughs> Hey, if you're looking for ways to build your foundational social media strategy skills, we've got a course for that. I worked with Adrian Harvey, who's the lead digital strategist at Spry, has a master's in digital media, and has worked in digital marketing for over 10 years to create this course. The course is called Social Media on Purpose, and it takes all of the lessons we've learned over our combined 24 years in the industry and distills them down into bite-sized lessons for you to enjoy. If you're interested, check it out at thinkspry.com courses. Also, we're uh, kind of cute and, and funny if, if that's important to you. Okay, so the last thing that I want to leave you with today is um, a little bit of encouragement like I like to do. So uh, what I want to talk to you about, my friend John, I recently had a conversation with him and he was telling me how he was really frustrated with himself because he had gotten back from a vacation and then spent about four days kind of like, you know, getting... Dairy Queen blizzards and watching eight hours of Netflix a day and he was feeling really upset with how unproductive he was and I know him he's a great friend of mine and so what I told him is I affirmed listen John I know that you are going to get out of this avoidance phase that you're in at exactly the right time I know you and I trust that at exactly the right time you're going to get out of this phase and it's fine that you're here now you're not going to stay here forever. And what he reminded me of later after he did come out of that phase was he's like, I'm not sure why I didn't think about this concept that what you resist persists, right? As much as we take behavior patterns that we have and we push them away and, and we don't want them and we push them away here, 
it sometimes makes it hard for us to move on from them. Sometimes the easiest thing that we can do to get ourselves closer to moving away from a pattern of behavior that we don't like is to fully accept that it's what we're doing. When we can accept, okay, this is what I'm doing and just observe it without judgment, only then do I think that we soften enough to find a path that brings us to um, a better behavior. So be easy on yourself this week. Um, and, and maybe some of the things that you're trying to make improvements on will just naturally uh, start to improve. So have a great rest of your week. Have a good time content planning for next month. I hope you keep learning and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Social Media with Lacey J is brought to you by Spry Social Media Marketing. Edited and produced by Chad Hinman. And executive produced by Lacey J. Fott.